one for Army Recognition editorial team at Show 2018 in Las Vegas, United States. The Industry Day at Show 2018 is an opportunity for media and visitors to test latest weapons, including assault rifle, pistol and shotgun presented by the most important companies of firearms. So we just launched the 19X. It's a full-size frame on a compact slide. It has very similar features to the Gen 5 with uh, comes factory with the Glock night sights, NPVD finish, uh, no finger grooves, ambidextrous slide stop lever. It's a totally new category for us. So we're extremely excited to have this uh, new pistol out. So come by the booth at 12254 and check it out with us. Uh, well, with the full-size frame, now we have a longer or more grip to, or more real estate on the grip and a, a more mag capacity. So that's one of the biggest things for us. And I think it's going to be a really awesome pistol. Let's go check it out. Here's the 19X. It's got the full-size frame, the 19 or the comp, the compact slide. It's got the Glock Markson barrel. This is an NDLC finish. The slide is the NPVD finish, which allows us to do the color. It's got the ambidextrous slide stop lever and no finger grooves. So this is an awesome pistol. We're really excited about it with the longer frame or the full-size frame. Now we have a larger mag capacity. So that's one of the big advantages for me, and I'm really excited to shoot this thing. The caliber is nine millimeter. The mag we use is a standard Glock 17 mag, but we have an extended base pad on it, uh, so we get the, like I said, the extended mag capacity. Hey, I'm Cody Osborne with Walter Arms. Uh, today we actually introduced the PPQ Subcompact, which was one of our most requested handguns from our fans. Uh, so we actually released it this year. Uh, it gives you that nice, uh, phenomenal trigger that the PPQ offers, but in a subcompact frame. So very, very easy to conceal this gun. Uh, it's very accurate, similar to the rest of our PPQ line. Uh, so we're very excited for this. It's had a lot of good feedback today. A lot of people keeping it on target, so it's great. Yeah, absolutely, it's a nine millimeter handgun. Uh, it'll come with one magazine, uh, holds 10 rounds, so you get 10 plus one capacity, and then another magazine that's 15 round capacity with an extension sleeve to give it more of a full size grip. So when we go to carry it every day, you can carry up to about 26 rounds on you uh, that conceals very easily. Uh, front and rear slide serrations, uh, MSRP of $649. Yeah, so uh, the one thing Walter is known about uh, most is for ergonomics and great triggers. So when we look at the ergonomics of the gun, we did some palm swells on the side to kind of give you more contact with the frame. Extended slide releases that are ambidextrous. An oversized magazine release button that's swappable for lefties also. So the front and rear slide serrations. The trigger is a two-stage style trigger. Nice easy take up, nice short break. And then when we look at the actual reset of the trigger, it's only a tenth of an inch before it's ready to fire again. Then we got some three dot white sights that we have rounded off so it won't snag as much when drawing from concealment. Uh, the barrel itself, we use a step chamber so it maintains some almost match grade accuracy when we start getting out to different ranges, especially 20, 25, 35 yards, which is phenomenal for a subcompact gun. It's gonna be our Q4 TAC. Uh, we're pretty excited about this. Last year we introduced the Q5 Match, which was a five inch competition style gun. That was cut for optics. It's done great for us, it stood out of the line. Uh, so this year we wanted to do a more tactical version of it. Uh, so when we look at it, we did the four and a half inch threaded barrel on the Q4 tack, so you could run suppressed. It'll actually come with another recoil assembly also uh, to help the gun run even more flawlessly with a can on it. Out of the box, it'll come with the LPA adjustable sights, and it's actual an LPA brand, not a knockoff, so get some nice set of sights out of it and then different plates to attach any of the red dot optics out there that you want. So, same style as the other one, the great trigger, the great ergonomics, and the ambidextrous controls. So. My name's Tony Mealy. I'm the general manager of Smith & Wesson Performance Center. We've got a couple of new 686 models as well as a 1911 new for this year. So the first one up, this is our 686 4 inch version. As you can see, it's got a vented rib, high bright interchangeable front sight. It's a six shot revolver with a quick release thumb piece. 
What's unique about this gun is the fact that it does have the quick release thumb piece, where typically when you get done shooting the stage with this revolver, you would have to rotate it this way to push the thumb piece. Now with this, it's here and quick. Hogover molded grip, it's out of the performance center, so you get a single action trigger pull for about a three and a half pounds and a 10 pound double action trigger pull. This is our 686 plus version, so it's a five inch vented rip barrel. Once again, interchangeable high orange front sight. Seven shot, cut for full moon clips, really geared towards your I-Core shooters. Once again, a quick release thumb piece for a quick reloads. Also new out of the Performance Center is this 3-inch subcompact 1911. What's unique about it is the fact that it's a scantium frame, so it's nice and light. It's got a round butt frame, and it's got an easy rack slide. So if you've ever racked the 1911 slide, you, see, you know how difficult it can be sometimes. We've engineered this now, so it's got a very easy to rack slide. Really geared towards those people that can't manipulate a slide that's, that's got a heavy recoil spring in it. Thank you for joining me. My name is Eric Sturr and I'm the Associate Product Manager for Pro Shop with Moretta USA Corporation. We're very excited to be here at Industry Day 2018. I have three new APX pistol models to show you and a new 1301 shotgun. Let's start over here with the APX Flat Dark Earth model. It is an evolution of our standard APX pistol. Um, it is our standard APX with an all FDE finish, so it's a Cerakoted flat darker slide. Uh, same level of interchangeability and modularity as our standard APX model, now available in flat dark earth. Uh, the APX itself, as you may know, is a removable chassis subsystem firearm, so the serial, serialized component is the chassis. That allows for you to change the grip frame itself out. Uh, we have different sizes and different styles available, as well as different colors. This particular model is all FDE. Um, we offer one with finger grooves, which is how this model ships, and one without finger grooves. So it's all flat for smaller hands. Um, these pistols all feature interchangeable back straps. So we've got three different back straps and different configurations and sizes of so the frames. It's the most modular uh, striker fired handgun pretty much anywhere. Uh, it also features uh, 9mm, 9x21 for Italian use and other places where it's restricted, and 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. Uh, interchangeable sights, we have night sights available, fiber optics for competition, uh, anywhere from a 10 round to a 21 round magazine capacity. You can do pretty much anything with it. Right here, the red dot model. So this is the standard APX, um, and we have milled out the slide, which will allow for the use of a mini red dot optic. We have a Burris fast fire mounted here, but with the interchangeable plates, we can actually mount the Burris style, the Doctor Optic style, a Trigicon RMR, a Loophole Delta Point, or a Seymour. We also have a blanking plate, so it goes on and then you don't have to run an optic. Other than that, this is a traditional APX with all the same modularity I just mentioned with the Flat Dark Earth model. And beyond that, the ultimate APX at present, the APX Combat. So this is the RDO model. We have the, the red dot optic with the plates, adding a half by 28 thread of barrel. So you can add any uh, silencer that will function with a half by 28 thread, that's a US thread. Um, and again, all the modularity of the standard APX with the ability to accept the silencer. So moving on, this is our new 1301 Tactical. As you may know, we've been producing and selling the 1301 Tactical for several years now. Uh, this model is an evolution of the 1301 Tactical that has been updated with feedback from our law enforcement and military users worldwide. Um, first off, we have an improved bolt release. So it's an all steel bolt release. It's much more secure than the older model. Obviously, as you can tell, it's all colored. So we have it available in four colors now. Black, flat dark earth, OD green, and a marine version. It's all silver. We've also updated the rail. So the older models had a polymer rail. This is aluminum now. So it's a little easier to mount a heavier optic on it and have it more secure. And my favorite addition is for the United States market uh, presently and, and potentially future markets down the road, the barrel is now threaded for choke tubes. So you can remove the choke and go from anything from a cylinder to a full just by swapping out the choke. 